This is creating a lineup sheet for 4th, 5th, and 6th grade volleyball. The Seattle CYO volleyball program for the 4th, 5th, and 6th grades play using a rotation rather than a substitution format. This means that on every rotation of players on the court, one player will exit and another will enter the court. The advantages to the rotation system are all players receive equal opportunity to play, coaches do not need to worry about meeting playing time rules by counting points, this system automatically takes care of playing time issues. Coaches have more time to focus on fundamentals rather than strategy. However, game strategy now rests on the coach in setting up their lineup sheet. One lineup sheet is used for the entire match, so players remain in the same order for the whole match. Lineup order cannot change between sets, and the lineup continues in the next set right where players left off in the previous set. Once the lineup sheet has been submitted to scorekeepers, it cannot be changed. Therefore, coaches need to plan ahead of the match and set their lineup. To do this, coaches should consider the following when planning their lineup. Skill level of each player, personalities of players, players' punctuality to matches. When considering skill level of players, it is recommended that coaches avoid putting all their strong players in first or at the beginning of the lineup sheet. This will mean that although you may begin strong, your weaker players will then be rotating in together. It is much more strategic and advantageous to both the team and to individual players if the coach staggers and balances out the skill level. Knowing the personalities of your players is very important also. Coaches will want to be sure players are next to players they can work with. And finally, Coaches need to know if a player will be arriving late to the match. If you know they will be late, place them at the end of the lineup. We will discuss later what to do when players arrive late. Filling out the lineup sheet. Lineup sheets can be downloaded from the CYO website. Be sure to choose the one that is for fourth through sixth grades. First, enter the team name. Check home or visitor. This will be on your schedule. Enter the date. List players in the order they will be serving, starting with the first server and working down your list of players. Be sure to enter the player's jersey number and their first and last names. Indicate the captain for the team by marking a C next to the player's number. Enter the coach's name. Any coach on the bench must be listed on the lineup sheet. Also, all coaches on the lineup sheet must be registered with the CYO office. Each coach must sign the lineup sheet. To start the match, St. ABC is a serving team. Player 1 serves first. The point is lost. Team Holy XYZ rotates, but player R remains in the game because they have not served. This is the only exception. At the start of the match, the receiving team will not rotate a player out as this player has not served yet. Players do not rotate out until after they have served. This exception only occurs at the beginning of game one of the match and only for the receiving team. Player A serves, the point is lost. St. ABC rotates. Player 1 rotates out, and player 7 comes in to the middle back position. All other players on the court will rotate clockwise, and player 2 will serve. Player 2 serves, and the point is lost. Team Holy XYZ rotates. Player A rotates out. Player F rotates in to the middle back position. All other players on the court rotate clockwise. And player B will then be the server. 